right, let's get to more of that rain and the storm system that's just hovering over all of us. It's nonstop. Yeah, Amber, you're staying really busy, but you're saying you're enjoying this. Yeah, because, <laughs> you know, because we don't really get that much of it. So when we do, it's really exciting and I know it's really dangerous as well. So this is something that, you know, we've been training for and we've been watching for. So this is something that uh, we just need to kind of uh, give you the information about. So I, I want to break it down for you so you kind of get an idea of what's happening. So I'm going to show you our radar right now and you can see that we do have a flash flood warning that continues on into 10 a.m., especially for the Santa Monica Mountains. And it also includes the West Hollywood area and even outside of our broadcast center here in Studio City. Uh, but as I zoom out a little bit more, I do want to show you that the outer bands of the system is starting to work their way into Arizona. So Arizona is starting to see uh, the same showers that we are seeing here, maybe not as uh, heavy of the rain, but they're starting to feel some of that moisture. So we are still left with a lot of this energy sitting right over Southern California, but right to the west of us, we do have a lot of this cold, unstable air that will continue to push in. So even though we're still seeing the heavy, steady rain, we will slowly start to see some of that rain turn into showers later on today. And then with that cold air pushing in, there is a chance for those isolated thunderstorms and showers. And that means even more of those downpours if we do see those isolated thunderstorms and more flooding. But right now, that concern is the flash flood warning that's over Agoura Hills, Calabasas, also over the Bel Air area, and then also over Studio City, and then West Hollywood, and then also as you head a little bit closer to the Glendale um, area over there. And what we're dealing with also, if you're not under this flash flood warning, you are still dealing with the very heavy rain in some spots, just that steady rain that continues to fall, and we see it right here in the Boyle Heights area, and also for Montebello and the City of Commerce. And then as we head a little bit more south, Lakewood, and then Signal Hill, also dealing with a little bit more of that steady rainfall and then we have some moderate rain coming into Huntington Beach, Irvine, Santa Ana and also Foothill Ranch. But it has been the Foothill communities here in Southern California that have been really hit with much more of that rain over the last three days. Santa Clarita right now also dealing with that steady rainfall. The good news is that because we're looking at the rain turning into showers, that flood threat is not as high as the last couple of days, but now we're looking at that moderate flood threat, and that's because we still could see flooding again with the isolated thunderstorms, and then because we still have all this rain that continues to come down. But we're going to start to get some breaks because we've had the nonstop rain for at least the last couple of days and then with the on again off again showers that's something to look forward to because that's going to really help things out a little bit more it's not going to dry us out completely but at least we get a break or so from a lot of that rain that we've been seeing the last couple of days so we're probably going to see another one to three inches of rain just from this system alone so the flood watch across southern california continues here's a look at the rest of the morning so again still some rain that continues to be part of our story this morning and then it becomes into more showery then tomorrow night a second system and this weaker system coming down the coast will bring us more of the scattered showers and the scattered showers will linger with us into Thursday. So still some on again, off again showers. And then as we head into the beginning part of Friday and then once we head into Friday afternoon, we turn the corner because things will slowly be drying out just in time for the weekend. Back to you, Kalina.